Hey guys, Paul here from Happy Me Business. I'm going to quickly show you how to, you can use this cool website called chargebee.com to manage your um, annual subscriptions, your maintenance charges, your um, monitoring fees. I'm going to do it on security companies that charge annual monitoring fees to monitor burglar alarms to police stations. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to use this company called chargebee.com it's specifically for subscription billing and it's cool so sign up for free um, physical goods e-commerce subscription boxes don't really matter what you sign up to at first security at happyme.biz I'll do it security related um, because most people who are going to watch this are in the security industry um, It'll start you off on a test site so you can play around with it. I'll just show the test site. Um, but I would recommend if you uh, don't do too much in the test site because when you go live, you have to do it all again. So, first thing, subscriptions. All the people that are subscribed to your site that have signed up. Products, stuff that you're going to do to sell. Uh, reports. And settings so you can change everything on the site site info needs changing you can charge whatever currency I'll leave it in US dollars because the guys that will be watching this are in uh, Bermuda Cayman Islands um, easily to, easy to set up I'm not gonna go through all the setup because most of you will probably ask me to help you do it anyway so first thing you're gonna do is product catalog create a new plan now you're gonna put something like annual monitoring Oh, if you spell it right. Uh, annual burglar alarm monitoring. And flat fee or per unit. Uh, you're probably you're going to do flat fee because most of you will just be selling one at a time. You can do per unit. What is it, 480? Bill once every year, so obviously you can set ones up for weekly, you can set them up for monthly. There isn't a quarterly option, which is a might be an issue to a couple of years. Um, but I guess you can work that out as in bill uh, four times a year. Uh, set up costs, if there is one you can add one. Uh, trial period you can add one. Um, redirect and stuff like this down here you basically bounce them back to your site so you have a button on your site that sends you to invoice page they pay the invoice and it bounces you back to their site so you would change this to whatever you want it to bounce back to I'm going to use leave it as uh, the theme for now but I'm going to do it quick but you'll get you'll get what I'm saying I may change it again later so you create a plan so when you go back to products you'll see annual monitoring so if you want a customer to sign up for this plan, all you have to do is send this page, this link, uh, either via a button on your website or in an invoice and in an email. You just send this invoice, you send this link, they come to this page and they pay using whatever you set up. I didn't actually set up... Um, billing information so what you can do you have to go to gateway and set up a payment gateway so depending what you use uh, I use stripe it might be a bit more expensive um, in the US it's 2.9 percent they charge but it's a flat fee so there's no hidden charges obviously some of you might use PayPal some might use world pay depending on what gateway you just set it up you link to your Stripe account um, and you set up I'm not going to do it because it's a test account anyway you basically go to Stripe set it up and it automatically takes the payment so if we go back to uh, what shall we do Let's have a look. so if I go to my website and I'm going to create a new page. Um, thanks for signing up. Right. Thanks for 
Signing up. You would probably put thanks for monitoring and any information on monitoring, mate. So what I'm going to do, I'll do it for, I weren't going to go through it all, but I will. So you take this, copy, copy this. You go here uh, and then change this redirect here to the page you've just set up. So happy me biz, thanks for, set, for, for setting up. You take the URL, you go, doo -doo -doo. where should I put it? I'll, I'll mess about with my own page, right? So one of these buttons, I'll change this shop, right? So I'm just showing you this because it shows you that you don't need an e-commerce site on your website for this, which is the best bit because whether you use WooCommerce, whether you use Shopify, whether you use Magento, subscription billing is a pain in the on on your website um, by monitoring, right? So it would be annual monitoring. So if I save and exit that, uh, an update, I'll show you what is going to happen. Let me just make sure. You can change this this checkout page as, as you want. Um, you can obviously put your own logo, put your own wording, put your own terms and conditions. But this is basically going to take the money, set up a recurring invoice which takes the money every year, um, and then you can you'll be able to see what I'm talking about after that. Let me. Do -do -do. Right, so if somebody comes, you'd send them to this link or you would email them a link saying, can you buy this thing? They would click on buy monitoring. That jumps them into your invoice on there. They would put in information to them. Uh, I wasn't going to do it. I'll do it properly because there's not many people going to see this video. <laughs> so wherever you are, um, what it will do is, if it knows, depends who you are, um, it will charge VAT or whatever ever you need, uh, need it to charge. Oh man. Billing address, it, it do, obviously if you're shipping something, it matters. Um, I'll put in a test card and subscribe. And then that sends me back to my website saying thanks for signing up. So you would obviously put uh, invoice gone through, thanks for signing up, um, whatever it'll be here, you are now monitored for another year or whatever that'll be, right? So you can see that you have gone from your website and then gone to an invoice and come back to your website with nothing on your website for um, online marketing, which then saves this HTTPS up here. If you haven't got a secure website, um, then you don't want them putting their credit card details on your website. So you go to Charge B's secure page, they pay the money, then they come back to your thank you page and any information that you need to say to them after they've set up, right? So it's that easy. Now, what you've got is this subscription that I've just signed up to, right? For eight or 40 US dollars a year I put into that, right? So it will show the invoice that's gone out. So you can check the invoice, check it's paid. You can click refund. So straight away, if the order's cancelled, you can refund it. Sends the money straight back to them, depending on which one you're using. But pay, um, Stripe sends the money directly back to them. You can, this is the beauty of it, especially for alarm companies or people that are doing extras, you can add a charge. So say they've got monitoring and they want an extra sensor, you'd go extra sensor. Or battery, thirty-five dollars on renewal. So you can charge them on the next billing date if they charge them monthly, or you can charge them immediately. 
submit a charge and because you've got their billing data it instantly charges them and the invoice has gone out so there's $35 in your account customers paid none of this messing about sending invoices out none of this messing about um, charge you know chasing up for invoices those two have been paid and your subscription is set up for next year so that is really how easy it is to do um, you're gonna get reports on revenue you're gonna get reports on um, customers emails customers information they can log into a portal and manage their own subscriptions um, dead easy to use so um, pricing pricing is pretty cool um, basically for the first fifty thousand dollars that you charge for it's free it doesn't cost anything and then it's ninety nine dollars a month which is obviously quite a lot but you can see uh, the amount of time it's going to save you not prating about constant renewals constantly sending invoices out constantly chasing up to see if they've paid or not you get the balance the billing information and it's automatically paid so 99 a month for that I don't think it's bad um, and, and it's dead easy to set up so the reason I use it is a company, an IT company that I do a lot of work with use Chargebee and I thought well why do they use that and I went in and I looked into it and I can see now for annual, for renewals, you know if you guys doing fire alarm maintenance where you're doing a set fee every quarter or every month or you know a lot of people have got service plans all inclusive in UK for £45 plus including parts and that. It's perfect. It's perfect because it's going to save you so much time. Hey guys, I'm just going to tag on at the end here. Uh, I know I said you could email them. I know you said you could um, put a button on your website. So what you can also do is send it direct. So quickly again though, you can add extras to your plan. So maybe you put AES radio. I know you, some people charge 100 bucks a month a year for that. So let me just show you. It will make sense why I'm doing this. No setup fee, no blah, blah, blah. save and create, right? So what you can go is go to subscriptions, go to create new subscription, type in your customer company if they've got one, um, phone number and email. I'll put in Paul Appleby Biz phone number. I'll leave blank. It'll give them a unique, obviously some of you use, um, you've got your own ID numbers in there thingy, so it might be a BDA sec one, which is the security group, plan, annual monitoring, add on, um, I probably have to set it up properly, but that's where I meant it to come up, AES radio, which I didn't set it up, um, I didn't set it up as an add on, I must have set it up as a full product. But if you, if I set it up right, you'd be able to select AES radio. But I'm trying to do it fast. I did it wrong. So start date, you might say first of June. Uh, number of billing cycles, you probably leave it empty to unless you want to do it for six years. Auto collection on. Billing information if you've got it. Uh, and then create subscription. There will be no immediate charge and invoice US dollars were generated on the 1st of June. Charge and activation, plan, confirm, right? So, that's how you can set up a subscription rather than having to ask them to fill it out. So then there's a button here for request payment method. Uh, so it would go send from security to Paul Nicholson request payment you can change template again and send that so there's no payment method in the system request payment method have I got my email open I'm not sure if my email will let it send from oh there it is look so then you get the link saying request payment method so then you go to this and, it, and you put in your card details. Uh, I'll put in the test. 
add the test payments uh, updated right so if I refresh that uh, billing information is there payment information is there same thing right so I, I sort of missed this out but it's a key feature really isn't it it's um, you can set up the subscription yourself uh, and then send them that information direct when you saw this this URL yours would be um, it's obviously it says your site test.chargeb it'd be you know bsg.chargeb or it'd be selectron or what, whatever that um, what your site is you'd set it up to say your um, site name so uh, I hope that helps again I just tagged that at the end because I know it was a big thing that I missed out uh, any questions um, as I say you can change your theme so that you type in whatever whatever you want it to look like um, it's fully customizable um, you know header image I don't know where's a I don't know if it'll like that one save you can put your own logo in the top right so if I don't know if this will probably say I've already done it so then you'll see that, that it is customizable you can put in however you want it so really cool really easy to use uh, and it's going to save you a ton of time and a ton of pain asking for money because everybody knows that is the worst thing so cheers uh, so hopefully that helped hopefully it made sense I know it was quick uh, if you want to contact me you can at paul at hpme.biz you'll find me Facebook Twitter snapchat LinkedIn at happy me Paul um, any questions fire them over to me uh, if you want any help setting it up let me know uh, I'm always available all right see you all again soon thanks a lot